Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing? Matt Tadelli here. Today we are talking about catching drills, and this is a drill we call uh, step ups. So basically, what you're going to do, we've got the hack attack machine set up, throwing about game speed fastballs. Um, and what the catchers are going to do is you're going to receive a ball, and then you're going to step up closer. So we start off right about um, right about game distance. And then we continue to move up every time we catch the ball. And so we're just trying to slow the game down. And to do that, we speed things up in practice. So, you know, one of the things that we like to do in practice is we try to make practice tougher than the game. And so, you know, we do that by using the machines. And right here, we've got the machine set up to throw some two-seamers. So you can see the ball really coming in hard to to what would be an inside pitch to a right-hander. And... You know, we've got two machines set up, so one will usually do go in one way and one will have go in the other. But we can also switch it up and use breaking balls and, you know, sliders, curveballs, um, all types of different things, cutters. Um, and so, again, what we have the guys do is, you know, they catch. Every time they catch, they get closer. And they get to the point where they're probably almost halfway. They're probably about 30 feet away from the machine. And, again, the machine is throwing about game speed. So when you get up about halfway to that machine, you're probably looking at a fastball that is, um, it's fast. I mean, it's got to be, I don't know the exact uh, speed, but it's got to feel like about a 100 mile an hour fastball. You can see these la that last one right there from Alex, who's a really, really good receiver. The last one almost takes his head off. Um, and we actually had... Uh, at last practice, we did have a player take one straight off the face. Um, so we usually warn them to not come in that close. Usually we end at this line right here, but then if we didn't tell Alex to stop, he wanted to keep going, he would have gotten this machine right there. So you can see how close he actually gets. He makes this look really easy, but this ball, these are coming in really fast. Um, but again, this is a really good way to, uh, when you do this drill, when you go, when you start working on getting balls about 30 feet away at this speed, when you go back to 60 feet, six inches, um, it feels really easy. It's again, you've heard players say like trying to slow the game down for me, things start to slow down when you, when you're comfortable, when you've, you've put in the time, you've done a ton of reps, you know, as an infielder. It, the game slowed down for me when, you know, I took 100 ground balls a day or more, right? And you're able to do things, you do things so many times, you can, it's, you almost can just do it subconsciously. It feels like you're on autopilot. Same kind of thing here. When you start to get good at receiving balls this close, and then you go back to normal distance, it just feels easy. You're able to slow everything down because you've worked, um, at above game speed. So baseball is one of those sports where a lot of practice in baseball is actually below game speed. And so what we're trying to do is switch that and, and practice above game speed. Um, you know, I'm a huge football fan and a huge basketball fan, and I follow a lot of stuff that, that coaches do in those sports. And, you know, in football and basketball, a lot of the stuff is, okay, let's try to make practice harder than the game we want to make the game easy by making practice really hard and baseball for some reason is the opposite for most you know for a long long time practice is like way below game speed right and if you're trying to make the game easy it only makes sense to try to make practice harder instead of making practice easier than the game so again this is a really good way to do it um, if you haven't checked out our other catching videos, check those out, we're going more in depth in the machines we're using. We're using hack attack machines here, uh, hack attack juniors. They also have the big hack attacks that, you know, really fire the ball, but these are good for, um, you know, they're portable. We can move them around easy, take them outside, take them inside, um, a little less expensive. Um, and they still do the trick. I mean, they still shoot a ball really, really fast. And like I said, you're able to put spin on the ball and, and, do all types of different things. So um, definitely check out our other videos. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully this, guy, hopefully this helps you guys out. Comment in the section below if you got any questions. I'll try to answer them for you. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. I'd appreciate that. Uh, check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff in there for you guys as well that I think you'll like. And then check out our social media pages. Um, Instagram is Antonelli Baseball, and our Twitter feed is Matt Antonelli 9 And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Good luck to you, and we'll talk to you later.